Okay, and now we're on to the uh, voting part then. So two things that we need then, guys. So get ready to post your scores into the main sheet. And then we also need, in the judges chat, our top All right, three. which one do you uh, want to do first? Basically at the same time, okay. but we'll do the paste first. All right, let me, hold on. Before we do anything, three. I'll write my top three, and then I will get ready to paste. Let me just get this. Okay. Yeah, same I'll here. Suck in. Um, do you want the top three in order? Or Random's just fine. random, it's, whatever name? Like, there's not enough people for me to have a, a big issue to sort this out. As a, I'm sure you'll know okay. this anyway, but as a recap, uh, the scores are an indication, but we're going off of the top three as our first. Okay, I am majority. getting let's ready go. now okay. to paste. And me. and me. Okay, let's go. B and enter. Oh, oh wow. Mark, no, no, Mark, no. Well, God, this you will... guys were way too nice. Okay. <laughs> you were way too nice. No, 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 no. Okay, and, okay, and the top three the for Mark? No, 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 absolutely not. Def okay, no, so no. This, this will yeah, make perfect what? sense, Mark. and I'll I'm so confused. explain it in <laughs> okay, a bit. Okay, <laughs> Good. No, what? I don't know how you're going to make sense of that. Oh, it's going to make perfect sense. <laughs> perfect Mark perfect sense or perfect person normal sense. person sense? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh wait, well, the deliberation's gonna go on longer I thought than we, we thought. Were doing so <laughs> it might, and it might not. I could go You're down swinging, and you guys could say two to one, outvote me, and that's problem solved. <laughs> it just so happens every single time I do this, I go off on a big full-on rant, and then somehow <laughs> everyone changes to come with me. It's like, how do I do this? <laughs> Oh, okay, so I want to try okay. and get these in. All right. I'll just write it on the sheet. So score order then. So no, oh, no, no it not. would be. Who no, doesn't no. even I get a yes? Yeah. second <laughs> on the score. Well, you gave him. You get, he got one yes. One yes. So yeah, I do not understand these scores. Oh, this is this some bull poop. <laughs> this is some bull poop. Okay, well, basically what we're looking at then is if we go on three yeses and two yeses, we basically have a top three sorted. We've got our finalists. So all it really leaves me not, is to try and argue for, and, and try and get you guys I'm gonna to change I'm going to tell you mind. point blank. No, all right, hit, hit us with Natasha. your pitch. Huni, I could see you arguing, but this performance from Natasha was just, it was just everything wrong. Uh, my, my question is, if we're well, bringing this, in Huni, who do we kick out? This is if you guys think I've got any points and you latch onto anything that I might say, <laughs> then we can maybe open up that discussion. So I am going to try, okay. as I have someone in my one yes that I'm going to try and pitch for as well, but I can understand that this may be a tough one to try and get over the line, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So a couple okay. of things that go into my factor, and one of them, which is standard for me and something that's always kind of back of the mind, a little bit for an entertainment aspect as well in terms of can we look at a competitive final? Because the trouble that I think we have is is if we go for the top three that you guys are suggesting, I can tell you who's coming one, two, and three before we even start. Um, my issues in there is that with BB and Dream Kid 2, for me, if I look back over my averages over their body of work, which it's odd to talk about in the semi-final because we only judge body of work in the final, but when we're deciding who goes there, then this is something that has to maybe factor in when we've got splits. For Dream Kid 2 and BB, my average points for them is going to end up shaking out somewhere roughly towards 6, 6.5, something like that. Um, for BB, I completely accept that when he absolutely nails it, like he did with his Elton John cover, he should absolutely be in the final. But my issue with him has always been, I don't think he understands how to use his voice properly in order to be able to deliver a cover. And I think this has been a problem I've brought up every single time, aside from that one performance. And it tends to be, from him trying to kind of work around to things that I've said. Oh, you need a little more rock quality or you need a little less rock quality or you need to just belt it and smash it out of the park and give us you. And every time he's done that, it feels a little misused at times. And while I accept the point of, yeah, okay, his cover, his power isn't out of control, for 80% of his performances, I don't think it's necessarily been that well used. Um, with Dream Kitu, I think she delivers a lot in terms of her her dynamics in the low register but the trouble there's a couple of problems that I've had with her throughout is that when it goes away from that soft um, lighter stuff 
we end up having issues with tech calls. We end up having issues, again, with it being a little misguided. Um, at no point, really, I think, Andrew, you might be in the same boat with me on this one, and, and Petra is the only one that has sort of made this comment. I don't think she's ever really delivered the emotion that we would want from a performance. I don't think we ever got that from her at, at any stage, which makes it a little surprising to say top three potential. My pick on Natasha, yeah. we'll throw it out there because I, I think I may struggle a little bit and I accept that this performance was a letdown in terms of it was unfinished and should someone unfinished be able to get into the final? Potentially not, but the average score I've given her compared to the other two that we're talking about and who have their two yeses is going to be higher and I think she and Tristan and Hooney looking at the scores, they've all got that potential to deliver us an 8, 9, 10 out of 10 performance. Dream Kitsu I don't think can necessarily because she can't put the emotion into the performance that we need. BB I don't think can consistently because I'm not seeing enough from him that he can put that all together and understand that to be able to deliver it into that final performance is my view on it and I think Hooney to not get a spot despite being second in the points in the final is definitely a, a big contender. His only wobble really has been that attempt at big band. Everything else has been very strong. Everything else has been right up there. Um, I think he's got a couple of um, like nine out of ten scores. Um, I think overall through the competition, if we look at average scores, he's been one of the most competitive and most up there. And it feels it feels odd for him not to get a spot when we're putting in one, possibly two people who are, I think, set for third place and, and nothing more. But it's whether it's a competition or whether it's um, they've got this far and they will very rarely. Like, I don't think they could turn it around to get beyond that in a in one performance in the final. Well, somebody's going to be set for third place regardless. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think if I'm looking at your arguments, I can I can understand Dream Kitu, I think, because um, I do have a lot of the concerns that you have when it comes to Dream Kitu. I just think that personally, if we're going based on this performance, she did a slightly better edged performance than the other two. Natasha, unfortunately, I remember, I love Natasha's unique voice, but like I said in uh, the previous round, there were some um, enunciation issues and pitch issues. This round, there were a lot of pitch issues, and it was a poor preparation and song choice, which is really not forgivable when you're coming to a semifinal. Um, I could see the argument for Hooney, like doing a flip with Dream Kitu and Hooney. I can't, me personally, based on um, especially like this most recent performance, I can't see a uh, flip between BB and Hooney. Um, I don't think that I could see an argument of knocking BB out. Um, Dream Kitu, I can because I do agree that especially if we try to give get her to give us something a little bit bigger, give us something a little bit more emotional and uh, something that's, you know, once she gets into that higher range, it's there's just something that gets lost there and it's been consistent. Um, so I can see that argument, just not sure about an argument for BB versus Hooney. Uh, but for me, Natasha would be out just by the fact that it just, I, I can't argue that somebody who did really good this performance, or at least better than Natasha this performance, should be replaced by Natasha who gave us two, one decent performance last week, our last episode and a not decent performance this episode that I can't argue, but Hooney I can see that being a contender, so let's see what Scott thinks so I'm definitely firm that I, I want to see BB go on to the final. Like, I definitely want to hear at least one more song from him because I love the quality of his voice and how much he uh, puts out. Uh, for if you're trying to make the argument between Huni and Dream Kitu, I'm a little of two minds. So on the one hand, I do see where Mark is coming from, where, you know, do we want it to be a competition or do we want to, you know, give it to someone who's been consistent, but may not necessarily you know show us anything new in the finale and that's where i'm kind of going with, with dream kid too is like she is very just consistently on the soft pretty voice and i would want to see something new from her but i just don't know if she will be able to bring that in the finale i i think she could but i it, it's very much a, a kind of toss-up thing to where like similarly with um uh who was it um i'm just trying to think we 
Yeah, I, I just think Dream Kid 2, you know, she did a really good job on this song. Like, I, I can't imagine, like, her, if we're basing it off of this round's performances, like, Dream Kid 2 is for sure supposed to be in the top three. Puni did also a good job, but there were a lot of technical issues, and I feel like I'm not 100% sold on, you know, wanting to hear more from him in the finale, um, as opposed to how I feel with BB and Dream Kid 2. See, now for me, Dream Kid 2 and Huni are kind of interchangeable because I gave them the exact same score. So I could see an argument for the two of them. Because like I said, I think they're both solid performers. I think they both have good voices. I think they both have this almost similar downfalls um, where if they're outside of their comfort zone, they kind of start to lose it a little bit. Although I do see Huni coming out of the comfort zone a little bit more than Dream Kid 2. And that's maybe why he's got a few more technical issues than Dream Kid 2 has because he's willing to kind of go outside where Dream Kid 2 kind of wants to stay where she feels safe. So my, my uh, what I was trying to think of earlier was uh, Phoebe from last uh, competition and how she kept putting out like really good performances but they were all the same kind of you know voice and you know I'm I'm worried that that might be what's happening with Dream Kid 2 and you know if we're going into finale like you want to see something new you want to see something different that the singer hasn't done before hasn't showed us before and Huni could pull that off I feel like he definitely um, has a little bit more variety um, than Dream Kid 2 but you know it's, it's hard to say just based on you know this performance and i'd have to go back and listen to some of their previous performances but as far as i can remember like dream q2 has been more consistent vocally in terms of like quality of voice not just you know like obviously yes the the soft uh quality of it but also technically it's been more solid than than huni so uh i'm i'm still kind of i'm, I'm torn i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't this is this is a kind of a that would be a tough call i don't know i think yeah i mean that phoebe example was a great one. I think going into that final, she was always going to be third place because all she ever gave was J-pop. Even when you said, don't give us J-pop, she did a J-pop version of a musical. It was it was so predictable on that front. My, going on to that, listening back to previous performances, my sort of, I guess, closing statement more than anything else is Huni gave us more emotion in the group round, I think, than Dream Kids who's given us in all of their performances. And I think that maybe puts them in good stead of being being able to deliver us something a little bit different and give us something special in, in the final that would make them a contender to go up against the other team. Well, see here, you know, like here's the thing though, if Huni makes it in and you know, let's say BB and Tristan are the other two, how much do you think that Huni can bring to the table to make it, you know, to either be first or second? I think he's got... If you put Huni in there, he's got a chance of competing. He will probably go back to something that is more comfortable for him, but who necessarily says that's a bad thing? We've pulled him out of his comfort zone twice, and he is... Um, one time he, he stumbled, and then we threw him the same thing again, and he's taken it and, and done more with it, and I think shows that he's got all of these aspects that he can bring in. A bit of the emotion, the technicals have maybe slipped a little bit, but going back into his comfort zone like round one, round two, and the group round, actually... I think he is well and truly nailed on. So if we throw him in the mix, then we have a three-way fight towards the final. If we throw Dream Kitu in, we've probably got a, yeah, this is nice, this is solid. Where's the emotion in it? Have we ever really had it? No, third place. Well, see, if you're if you're saying that Huni might choose something a little bit more comfortable for him, then I would make the argument against that because like you're supposed to be, you're not supposed to be comfortable in like the finale song. Like you're supposed to be like, giving it all that you have kind of thing like I know that um, I'm speaking from you know also my personal experience to where like whenever it was 2019 and I was submitting my final song like no one would have expected you know uh, acoustic you know song cover from uh, was it uh, Fleetwood Mac that you know come from the the rock voice guy right so I want to be able to be surprised you know with uh, something with Huni puts out or Dream Kid to whoever like I want to be you know 
know, surprised that they can pull off something different. And if you're saying that, oh, sorry, go ahead. So, you know, I think if, if we're talking along those, if we're talking along those lines, though, I honestly think that we probably would hear more of more of a risk taken by Cooney because I I don't know if Dream Kitchu would ever come out of that sing songy, sweet, soft dynamic kind. Of, I think she's going to pick a song that's going to be her comfort zone too. I think that both of them are going to pick a song that's probably going to be more of their comfort zone. But I think if we have a chance for a little versatility, I think it would probably come from Huni more than Dream Kitu because once Dream Kitu leaves that sing songy and tries to give us power and then tries to go in that upper register, that's when things kind of fall apart a little bit. So I think she might, especially when she hears the feedback, she might pull back for like, if she goes on to the next round, she might pull back a little bit. So I think we're, we're kind of, we would be looking at the exact same situation where both of them are probably going to fall back into their comfort zones. But if they base it on like feedback, I think Huni is more likely to take the risk than Dream Kitu would be. Absolutely. In terms of, we've been asking for emotion the whole time. We've never got it. We're either going to get it once in the final from a body of work that shows none of it, or we're going to have someone who has delivered. I mean, I'm going to throw it out there. My suggestion would be that we would put Huni into the top three in place of Dream Kitu based off of being able to offer us more versatility, more emotion, and potentially has the the highest ceiling in terms of being able to deliver like a, an 8, 9, 10 level score. And who's with me? Anyone? Um, Yeah, I, th- I think I'm agreeing with you. I, I actually, I think I could be with you. Yeah, I could be with you on that. I gave them both the exact same score. I don't think I'd be broken hearted if we did. Like I said, and it's not a slam on Dream Kitu. I think Dream Kitu has a gorgeous voice. I think she just needs to find a little more confidence and kind of go beyond what she's comfortable with and become more versatile in her performances. I, I absolutely love her voice, but um, I think I would change. So I guess Mark got his way again. <laughs> Mark got his way again. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll change mine as well. <laughs> okay, well, so me. So thank you very much, guys, for listening. We have our top three. We have our grand finalists and what a battle we're going to be looking forward to. Uh, thank you to Andrea, as always. Uh, thank you to Scott for jumping in and doing an incredible job to fill Petri's shoes. And you know, it's nice to have someone that doesn't ramble as much as he does, but uh, it was uh, very fun and good to have uh, the insight of uh, someone that has been here and done this and won an all-star season as well. So hopefully for you guys, you've got plenty of uh, great uh, feedback for him to take forward. And as we've said already, uh, for everyone that has got this far, even though you haven't made it, you have come through over 100 singers to get to um, this point and you all have huge potential to be able to go forward and make sure that you keep getting out there and performing and producing stuff and you know just sharing it with us and we'll look forward to seeing how everyone progresses uh, going forward with their careers but we do have three singers which is great look forward to seeing how it ends and wow that's going to be a battle and a half when uh, we come to talk about that one uh, thank you very much guys and we will catch you again very soon for the next episode 